First thing you need to realize is what is soap scum? There's two types of water. There's hard water and soft water. If you have hard water in your house, that means you have a lot of minerals in your water. You have calcium and magnesium, to be pre precise. If you have hard water with calcium and magnesium, when you use soap, and you're soaping away, that soap makes a chemical reaction with the magnesium and the calcium, and it creates a wonderful byproduct that you and I love called soap scum. So that's what soap scum is. You might hear the term lime scale that has to do with your hard water as well. So how do we get rid of it? Uh, first thing I want to say is, let's use an illustration of painting. If you are painting with oil-based paint and you get done, do you clean your hands with water or mineral spirits? Mineral spirits. Conversely, if you have water-based paint, you don't use mineral spirits, you use water. When you're cleaning soap scum, you have to use a chemical that will dissolve that lime scale, that calcium deposits. So make sure you use the right product before you can get started. No bleach, no Windex. Use the right product. So, Adam's three steps to cleaning soap scum and lime scale. Number one, chemical. Number two, abrasion. Number three, wipe it clean. Chemical, abrasion, wipe it clean. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the chemical. That is, I, I love to use Zep shower tub and tile cleaner. This to me is just a great product. There are several out there. That's the first thing I like to use. So we're going to take that product and we're going to spray it on the soap scum and the lime scale. Now truth be told, this window isn't that bad. I kind of marked it up with some soap trying to get something to look at. It. But if you have a house with soap scum and I'll provide some pictures, you know what I'm talking about. going in and starting to dissolve soap scum. Next we're going to move to abrasion. Okay, abrasion. Scotch-Brite stainless steel pads are fantastic. This to me is a miracle product in the cleaning world. The reason being is you can use it and it doesn't scratch the glass. Uh, you can use this on a variety of things in your house. It scratches that scum off, but it doesn't scratch your glass. So, next step. We got the chemical, now the abrasion. I'm going to go through and I'm just going to abrase away. Oh, that's so scum. I'm also working out my arms, creating some strong arm muscles there. All right. Getting some squats in. Always do your squats. All right. And we're getting all that abrasion nice and good. If you have really bad soap scum, you may need to do this a couple times, so just beware. All right, so there's our abrasion. The last step is wipe clean. Um, I love to use uh, this shower tile cleaner. Just get a, a squeegee and get a good one. Bad squeegees will tend to cause problems. First things I like to do, I'm just going to make sure all that was in real good. And you're ready for the magic to happen. Let's hope it happens because we can only do this take once. We're going to wipe it clean. All right. And you'll notice where we wiped it clean, it looks good. Those are your steps for cleaning soap scum. Mm -hmm. Chemical. Use the right chemical, abrasion, and wipe clean. Repeat if necessary. And thanks to my wife, we do need. Hey, thanks for joining us this week on How Do I Clean? If you want more cleaning tips, click the subscribe button down there. Or if you're on Facebook, you can like our page. Hey, thanks so much. We'll see you next time on How Do I Clean?